okay so what we are going to do now is uh, we are going to look at how we will set up our uh, cucumber with eclipse and we'll try to run a use case and see how we integrate all of this together okay so <clears throat> i'm i'm going to follow some steps and then uh, i'll let you try the steps and then i'll again follow some steps and then let you try the steps okay so that is how we are planning to do it so it has few steps to be followed so one is download and install java we have this already done download and start eclipse we have this now <coughs> next steps is installing cucumber eclipse plugin so for that what i am going to do is i'll tell you how to do it go to your eclipse okay in the eclipse uh, go to help go to help uh, or rather go to eclipse marketplace uh, from help go to eclipse marketplace and inside there go and search for natural and uh, can you see this text here natural so please search for that so let's see if you can find it so i am searching n a t u r a l and i'll find it so let's see what happens Okay, so I'll come down here, down, 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 down. Okay, somehow uh, I could not find it, so I'll make it more specific. I'll make a uh, search for NATURAL, uh, or let's say I'm going to search not for natural, let me search for cucumber, C U C U M B E R. Let's see if it brings it up. So let's wait for some time. Not, okay, so. Uh, natural searching natural did not give it but when I search with for cucumber it gives me natural 076 okay so please search for it and click on install this is a plugin okay once you are done with the installation we'll continue further so please complete this task okay so okay so now that uh, <coughs> I'm hoping all of you have got that uh, plugin installed we'll go to so installation of plugin is done cucumber is done now now <coughs> web driver these are the jar files of selenium right so if you will remember uh, i had sent you a zip right so i hope you have downloaded that zip so what you will do now is we'll create a new project okay i will create a project you can do it by any name of your choice so go to new and uh, create java project and call it cucumber c u c u m b e r p r o j e c t okay and inside that create a folder called lib new and folder called lib <coughs> right and yesterday i had sent you a link to download a zip file so from that zip you have to take all the jars and put it here so i will go there and show how to do it so automation architect hello cucumber not this one cucumber yeah this one so i sent you cucumber hyphen jars dot zip file unzip it and you will have lot of jar files copy control a control c and copy and put it all the files here in the lib folder okay after you do that like we always add all these jars in the class path add it in the class path okay so please do that quickly and let me know so uh, that lib file uh, that uh, <coughs> that zip file which i gave to you it has your selenium jars also Okay, it has everything that you need. So after copying here in the lib folder, you have to add it to the class path. So go right click on the project, go to properties, go to Java build path, go to add jar and select all the files in the lib folder. Okay, come down, down, down. 
okay select all of it and then say okay okay so all the files will get included in the class path this is something which we have done multiple times so it should not be a big problem okay so please do this quickly okay so we have included the jar files and those jar files contains the uh, selenium, selenium jar files also so i am checking this now <coughs> configure eclipse with cucumber uh, we have basically done this also uh, installing plugin and all that so steps are done okay now we have everything ready now we'll start writing some code right so how we are going to do it is that i already have a small working piece of code i'll share it with you and then we'll try to uh, use that code so what i'm going to do is uh, i will go to my connect to tech hello cucumber um not this one i'll go to this one okay now here uh, here i have written a small test case okay what this test case is doing basically is that it is uh, working on the add user functionality right we had add user remember so let me launch that uh, project and uh, try to first of all implement the add user functionality with the help of test ng and then we will see how we can migrate it into a uh, what do you say add user feature file okay so <laughs> So I'm starting my project and I will access my project from here. I'll go to Selenium. I'll go to project spring MVC. Okay. So this is the project add user, right? Now let me first of all run this code, which what it does, it adds one single user for me. We already have code for that. Okay. I'll give this code to you. It's a working code in that you just have to change uh, your location or path of your driver, right? So in order to do that, what you would have to do is you have to copy the driver from your previous project into the new project, which we have just created and update this path here, right? So let me quickly run this file, run as uh, test ng and let's see what is happening. So I have this working test case and add user is done successfully, right? Now I'm going to translate this into Cucumber test case. So how we are going to do that is, let's see. So first of all, we'll create a feature file. So feature file will look like this. Uh, so uh, let me just show to you. So uh, since you have already installed that, uh, that plugin, uh, which we did a little while back, so if you will go here you install this natural right so therefore uh, if you create a feature file it will show uh, a light uh, green color and the file extension is dot feature so first of all go into your cucumber project and right click and create a new folder and we shall call it a uh, folder as f e a t u r e okay after you do that i am going to give you this file you will copy that file into that feature folder okay so I'm closing this, I'm closing this and I'm opening it in the project we are working on. So this is an add user feature I'm testing, right? Little while back, I was talking about this particular file. So this is a feature add user. What is the scenario successful add user? So given that when user is on home page, means that write a particular method or a use <coughs> a method or a use case or a test case, whatever you want to call it wherein user goes to the home page means what driver dot get of that particular URL. Then user navigates to add user link <coughs> user <coughs> user navigates or you can say user clicks clicks to clicks on add user link, right? Yeah. On that home page, we have this add user, right? User clicks on that. And after that user enters mandatory field and user clicks on add button and the message displayed message displayed is is either you can leave is or user edit successfully right so this is a scenario i'm going to test right now what i'm going to do this scenario has to be read by some java code right so let me share that java code with you 
so so there is a test case here i'll take this test case and i'll put it here in the source folder okay now let's understand this file now this is a simple file which imports some some files of the cucumber right so it says this is a empty file which has nothing inside it it has it says run it with cucumber and it has some options what are these options all those we will look at after some time but this folder features is feature meaning that read the feature file from this folder and step definitions are these are the steps step definition of that use case is it clear <coughs> okay now one thing you have to note here is that if i right click run as i'm running it as j unit test and not test ng like a test ng framework there is a j unit framework also so why this difference i will cover that later on with you but for now it is j unit so let me run it if i run this test case you will see in the console i get output like this okay so please observe this output carefully i'll copy it and put it here in my another editor so do you see that does this method look familiar to you user is on home page this is what we put in feature file right yeah and uh, can you see uh, okay first of all let's go here let's go to the feature file can you see user is on home page this is same as what you see here with underscore sign yes and it is true for all the uh, all the steps which i have specified here right and therefore and each of them is failing can you see throw new pending exception meaning that i have created a feature file a ba product owner <coughs> developer qa we all got together and created this feature file and corresponding to this i created a code to read this feature file and i run it and initially all of it is failing right because i am throwing pending exception pending exception pending exception pending exception pending exception meaning that this piece of code still needs to be implemented yes no yeah so what i am going to do is we have to go ahead and write the code for this particular file or this particular methods how we will do that i will explain to you in some time so i am sharing this feature file and these two files with you try it in your machine and make sure that you get this output console okay after that we'll continue further okay now feature is the folder where the feature file is so okay so this feature folder is the location where your feature file is right corresponding to that it has given this output in the console as we have seen those five methods right now you have to define a glue for this file what is this feature glue these are some the some of the cucumber options i will talk more in details about it later but for now i'll put it here as com ctt glue this is a package here glue com ctt glue okay this package this is a name of the package and that package contains a class file which has implementation of the cases which showed up in console right so if i remove this let's say i remove this and i go and run that file once again so let me run this file so or it will show in the console here where is my console gone this console so i go in the console and from given at the rate given copy this up till end and put it here where in this test case create any file with any name but that should be under the package com ctt glue why because i have defined the cucumber attribute as com ctt glue right now i'll mail this file to you you try that file if i right click and run now this error will be gone right that error is gone and what is the next error it says that implement this so if you go into that file test case here i have deliberately said in each method that throw this exception pending exception pending means although i have defined an outline skeleton but implementation is still remaining for this particular piece of code yes no so in this what i have to implement is user is on home page so what do we do this is as good as driver dot get of url so you are on the home page 
then here you will say driver dot find of that add user and then you click on that so that you click on add user like this step by step scenario based execution of test cases it would be performing is it clear yes so i am mailing this file to you put it in this package so before you do that go to the test runner change the glue to this one okay change glue equal to this it is by uh, there is already a glue in your code which was having uh, some other value change it to this and then i am mailing you test case file okay so put it in this package package com c to the glue and please try it out okay so to summarize this uh, we had this feature file right now this feature file had this uh, given when then right corresponding to this we create a test case which is this similar uh, methods corresponding to the entries of the feature file and within this now you have to write your logic to perform the action of being on the home page clicking on the link and then entering the mandatory field so here you will say driver dot find element of each field and then send keys and yes so all the i mean in this case i have made it mandatory field but you can choose to enter all the fields if you want to and then in this method you will say add of button and then subsequently you will go to the success page and you can verify whether it is a success or a failure right so this is just an overview of how we have uh, translated requirements or a scenario into a uh, feature file and subsequently a code is reading it right so who is reading this we read this feature file and we all agreed that uh tester developer and everybody is going to rely upon this so if i have a program or if i say and and here and uh, uh, he clicks on add button and uh, and here user verifies the title the p i p l e for example v r i r i verifies the title now let's say let's say when this implementation was completed a uh, stakeholder or somebody thought that i should add one more condition here that you go to uh, the you go to the uh, you click on the add user and then verify the title yes so if you have to do that if you will again go back and run this run as j unit so what will happen in the console you will again see okay uh, you will again start to see that method here when right so you have to take it and put it back uh, in the uh, in the test file we are getting this error because i have not set the system dot set property right otherwise this will not come is it clear what i am trying to say yes so this is how we have a we basically set up a cucumber to test or do a bdd okay so that's all we will discuss for with cucumber we we'll look at how we can handle multiple feature files and multiple test cases later on okay